Hello my friends, here we are in Luminar Neo and today we are editing this photo of a bluebird I took in my backyard. This is a raw image, you can see here it says develop raw. It's just straight from the camera. It's not the best image, you know, I usually don't like, don't like to take uh, bird photos where they're on top of the feeders. But you know, I figured we never edited the wildlife photo on Luminar, so let's do it. First, I want to crop the image and get the better composition. I want to crop this into portrait orientation. First, I wanted to crop this image. So I'm going to go to the crop tool and I want to crop it into a portrait orientation. I will take the corner and drag it down until I want to put the eye into the upper thirds and I'm going to center the bird. Something like that. I like it. Now, the whole image is kind of underexposed and I did that on purpose because I didn't want to blow out the background. But I am going to up the exposure a little bit. And I like that. Then I want to up the shadows all the way to 100%. I'm going to up the whites a little bit and take down the blacks to create some contrast. And that is a good starting point. Maybe I'll go down on the exposure just a little bit. All right. Next, I want to bring out some of those colors back. So let's see. Let's see what Enhance will do for us. That will bring up a little bit of the blue. Then I will go to color. And I want to go to hue and take the yellows more into the oranges a little bit. Oranges a little bit more into the reds. Then I want to go to saturation and up the oranges a little bit just to bring out that orange into the bird's chest. And that looks better. Now I want to make the eye stand out a little bit. Maybe even give it a little bit of sharpening. So what I will do, I will go to develop. Increase the exposure a little bit, increase the whites, and bring down the blacks. And then with a little paintbrush, I will just paint right over the eye. The program is a little bit slow, we're waiting for it to update. There you go. So this is the eye before and after. Maybe the exposure is a little bit too much. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Let's see now. Before and after. Before and after. And I like that. One other way to bring more of these orange tones is to actually go into landscapes. Even though this is not a landscape image, the golden hour will do magic on this one. So look at the oranges. You see, we're bringing them out. This is before the landscape, after the landscape, before and after. And that looks good to me. Now let's go to detail and add some sharpening into the eye. I will increase the medium details a little bit, sharpen to about 40 and with a little brush paint over the eye. Okay. And that looks good. So let's see what, where we got so far. This was the before and this is the after. Before and after. I want to brighten up a little bit the white feathers under the belly. So I am going to go to develop, increase the exposure. I'm going to increase it by a lot just so I can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to bring it down. With the brush, just kind of paint onto the white feathers. And that is a lot, but now we will bring it down. And now I can see exactly where I painted too much. And with an eraser, I will erase the extras from underneath. And that looks good. So this is before and after. Maybe it's a little bit too much. I'm going to bring it down even more. Just a little bit like that. That looks more natural. All right, what else do we want to do? 
Let's see it again. We started with this image and now we are here. I want to add to the background, make it look more like watercolor, add some actual color to it. How would I do that? Well, I go to my layers and I have here two layers that I created in Photoshop. If you do not have a different program that you can create colored layers, just go around your house, see like a, you know, blue folder, an orange folder or tablecloth or whatever you might find that has some color. Just take a picture of it. If it's something that has texture, just move your camera around at a low shutter speed so it's all blurry and then you'll get these colors that you can use as layers. I will start with the blue one. I am going to add a blue layer. As you can see, this is just a blue layer, nothing on it. And I will change the blending mode. Let's see, multiply, that might be too much. Eh, we can use it, no, let's see, how. soft light. Let's go with soft light. Opacity about 60%. I do not wanna apply it to the whole photo. I just wanna put like little watercolor color dabs around it. So I'm going to take my brush, a big brush, maybe strength, let's just start with like 76%. I'm gonna put a little bit blue on this corner, maybe a little bit around here, maybe a little about here, some around here, just like that to add a little bit of color. Then I'm gonna go back to my layers, add my orange color. This time let's go with screen so it's different. Give it a little bit of contrast. I'm gonna increase a little bit like 75% opacity. I will take my brush, nice soft brush, big brush. Maybe let's go with strength of 70% and I will just paint it into the parts that I did not paint the blue, just to give it a little bit of contrast, add some color to the background. And there you have it. Our background is not white anymore now. Look, we started with that background like that. And now we have a splash of color, makes it a little bit more interesting. Makes you wonder what's going on behind the bird. What is all those colors? So there you go. This is the before, this is the after. And at this point, let's see. So I wanna add a little bit of structure. So it gets more sharpness into the bird. So I'll go back to my bird layer and add some structure, maybe 26. And then with a brush, I'll just paint it over the bird. I don't wanna sharpen everything. There you go. Let's see if color harmony, super, uh, color contrast, if this can help us. Oh, there you go. Add a little bit of that, will not hurt. This is the before, this is the after. And this is how I would edit a wildlife photo on Luminar Neo. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. My name is Skylar Ewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.